All right, we are now live with Cadence of Hyrule. I have no idea what to expect from this game other than it's basically Crypt of the Necrodancer plus Zelda. Everything else completely unspoiled to me, completely blind to me. I'm looking to have a lot of fun. Um, I haven't even really play tested this outside of just the title screen. <laughs> so we are really just going in full blind to this. All right. Might have to do Every that again. Every world has its evils. And when the balance of power is inevitably lost, it's up to the courageous and the wise to restore it. But sometimes, Sometimes they need a little extra help. Freaking gold loop, man. So, what do we have the Triforce of Power then? It's like the latency we have is fine. What is this? Ah, okay. Opens the door. Better get used to it now. <laughs> Got some means of getting in. Nope. I'm stumped. Well, it's not gonna be in here. Stairs to the left. Those are stairs? My god. Okay. <laughs> now we know, I guess. That's helpful. We can jump from ledges, too. Can we use the torch to burn the stumps? Limited use break over time. Okay. So we need this to move. Oh, okay. Can move it. Can only jump on it. Then. We're figuring it out as we go. Never use yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Necro Dancer. Slimes seem relatively the same. Pretty much. Every second be Okay, it's a skeleton. That's what I figured they'd be. all the basics. I guess just in case you hadn't played the first one. Oh, okay. So when there's a beat detector, we can move the music, but otherwise, just move wherever. I'm going for Zelda. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Hello. I was alarmed. You probably should have been. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this? Nah. Stick is definitely better. I want the dagger. <laughs> All right. The tutorial's gone. Oh, now we're just playing as though. Octobo's golden loot. Okay. The return of the golden loot. Take this telescope. See farther, really more screens on the map. Okay. Open the map by pressing. Press the L to see it. Okay. Okay. Ah. So this is still move. This is a map. L? There is there is no map right now. Okay. What's up? Find a shovel. Dig three weaker balls. Yep. Rats might even have a torch. Yep, 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 yep. Bomb. That's cool. Got that shovel. All right, I'm gonna experiment with our movement options. So it looks like the the left and right are our items. This is still movement. We still have no control. There's no map, there's no map, okay. Flag projectiles and melee damage from all directions. If your time is one beat early, you can still block the damage. It's neat. That's magic meter. Oh, God. It's only one space in front, apparently. Oh, okay. But how do we kill it? Are we gonna go directly in front of it? I guess we block and then hit. That's what that looks like. Cheek is slipped. Cheek is stone. Okay. Four champions travel the world, defeat the four. Okay. Got that vision radius. Gosh, there's so much to take in at any given time. So how's this croc work? You just stand still? Probably not. Wait until you're in front. So it's like the hedgehogs. A lot of these are the same enemy patterns from before. So this is another after rock. Oh, it reflected entirely. Okay. There's another thing over here. Okay. Ooh. Last enemy on the screen is defeated. Diamonds won't be lost when you get a game. Yep, 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 yep. So it is highly incentivized to kill everything. So it's some sort of puzzle, it seems. Yes. 
I see what's going on here. So now I need to do it again. But this time we go up. Sign to A, B, or X on the inventory screen. Big block, yeah. How do we go to the inventory screen? I guess it's automatic. This is new. So they split. Interesting. Enemies don't respawn crazy amounts. That's good. So we got a king. Oh god. Get all enemies without taking damage and without missing a beat. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Feels kind of risky. There's a lot of enemies. I ain't doing that. <laughs> That's better. Yep. All right. Press screen, we can do that. Nice. There's a way to get up there, evidently. Also, I guess those are Lizifos. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Cuckoo over here. I assume we do not want to kill the cuckoo. How do we get up on top of the tree though? Oh, there's a push thing. And a bomb thing. Which we don't have. Oh no, we have a bomb. Okay, it's our, our down button. Probably do that last. long spear. What happens if we make them hit the cuckoo? I wonder. Okay, now we can just move. Um, let's get the chest. I can just jump down from any platform, it seems. It's nice. Wonder if this is roguelike at all, or if it's predetermined. Some to defeat. Feels like this is procedural. Why is this here? Do I remember? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that that being able to get past that is nice. So my items, knock back enemies and objects. Okay, there's a lot to take in. <laughs> I guess we can experiment. So we have our cane. There's our cane. We can move it. Can't get on top of it though. Can just put it on top of stuff. And this is to blow back enemies. So I guess we'll need an enemy to actually do that on. So two spaces away it will activate. So 
there are some ways to trap enemies. At least to some degree. Elizabeth will go any direction in which you hit them. Oh, he killed him. It's <laughs> funny. gotten used to it again. Interesting that it doesn't let you move down onto it. There's apparently one more. Probably something. Over here. It's not the bee. Still getting used to this. But we're doing okay. Wanted to hit the tree. Apparently it doesn't do anything. Hey, get back here. What is this? Danger, keep out. No. Ah, these again. Oh, God. Alright, I'll fine, I'll keep out. Jeez. That's some danger right there. Oh, what's this? Definitely a lot to take in at any given time. <laughs> As is typical with Necro Dancer's game, though. Okay, now we know what that does. This butterfly go. Oh. Inverse movement. No. Not really. Oh, they still split. Okay. <laughs> Didn't get a diamond out of that one. No shovel. Okay. I've probably got anything better than this dagger. Definitely watching me. I think we deal with this guy first. Yeah. We're out of sync though with the time he shoots. It's kind of annoying. I guess we'll go around the sun. I think you're always out of sync with that. Maybe if you like put up like a wall or something, that'll work. What's this bench for? Does this do anything? It's a cute bench. I guess you're like... That still doesn't make any sense now. Use the bush to get in sync. Maybe. No. Uh, 
Oh, there's durability to my stuff that goes. Interesting. Okay. It's like Breath of the Wild. I heard that they have different timings between the Degus, too. Oh, this this probably helps. He's immune! Okay. Doesn't repair durability. How do you do this? You have to deal with the bomb specifically, I guess. There you go. What is this? It does seem like bat movement to me. Sometimes it doesn't even move at all. Moves double speed on top of water. Sometimes moves double speed over water. Oh, I'm just confused. Looks like there's a timer to how many turns it can fly to. Alright, well we're good. The pot definitely signifies a secret. Arrow. It's neat. Friendly fire. <laughs> Apparently there's a torch over here. Some chests like this one being locked. To get on of it. Me out. There's a fairy place up here. You think that'll still be around? Yes. Alright, let's focus on this area first. I can shoot diagonally. Oh, burned. The same thing. Okay. There's so much enemy combat in this game. It's overwhelming. even work. I am unsure. This is bombable though. Apparently bombs can shoot things diagonally, which is interesting. It's 
every other move for the bat. So much concentration needed for this game. <laughs> oh. He keeps going until he hits you. Three moves. All these enemies translating into Necro Dance en enemies is super interesting. How do you get this to actually die? Is it possible? I guess it's definitely possible. Not sure. Might actually be impossible. Guess you need the, the Zora Flippers to get this. At least that part anyway. And how do you get this? With the bomb? Yeah, I don't know. I guess we can do it with this one up there. Move this down to get the chest. Even that doesn't really work though. Oh. The fact that all enemies aren't mandatory is a weird thing for me to have to deal with. This whole thing is like a freaking landmine over here. That's stamina, not magic meter. Interesting. <laughs> oh, no stamina. We're learning. Heal from kills. Yes, please. I will take that. Uh, I don't like whatever that is. Oh, it's dead now. So many enemies. What the heck is that range? Oh, okay. Wow. That's a very interesting enemy movement. He killed all of his friends. Oh well. Oh, there it comes. Box him in. Fates are watching over you. Okay. So continue. Okay, map of flash. Da, da. Still rest your items. Switch to Diamond Shot. Buy something to help you when you return to Hyrule. Okay. Heart container. Cool. Bombs. Whatever. Vision radius. Whatever. Long attack. Whatever. Heart container. Seems like the right thing to do. Oh, we can actually get most of these. New weapon. Press the pad to see your inventory. What the heck is, oh, the plus key. Okay, now I get it. I was thinking that was like the up arrow is the plus. These are our weapons. 
They're assigned items, and this is Deku. Okay, it's a collection item this came. And then we have Nari's Love, which we already knew about. And then we have this, whatever the heck that is. Piece of Hearts. Okay. We have three more. I think I'll take these. Can we talk? Okay. So we can pick either of these two. Okay. Guess it's here. It's the first time we died and all the enemies are back. That's why I didn't want to buy a torch. <laughs> So apparently, at least our discovered items are permanent, like the cane and whatnot. Uh, got confused. One day I'll get it. Ah, oh, I see. How oh, I'm supposed to do this. It's been so long since we've hit this first screen. Also, this means that the areas are the same every time. Alright, I think I can maybe handle this. during dig. It's interesting. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> Have to go around the other end. Oh, there's a cuckoo up there. That wasn't too bad. A key. Interesting. Alright. That was not that bad. Though we did have a very good weapon. Flawlessly, that's right. We can't take damage or miss beats. Seems like something I want to avoid. <laughs> Hookshot. <sighs> Latch onto certain objects and pull them yourself. You can also stun enemies. Fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want anything to do with this, but I guess we're going to attempt it. Dang, we missed one beat. Oh, you could definitely grind at that spot. It's kind of interesting. Apparently they're good on water.
got confused by their movement because I thought they could move uninhibited on water. And it looks like they might be able to, at least to some degree. Still kind of thinking about that. So I got this guy up here, and there's the push. Okay. So inventory is this. One you sell me. Okay. Reduces cost of items for sale in shops. Okay. It's insane to think that these aren't even the hard enemies. <laughs> it's already this bad. Showed those areas and I'm unsure why. We still have the cube from before. It must be used for something. No secrets, it seems. The movement of a uh, Necro Dancer, I feel like it almost doesn't complement the game type, being an exploration game. It makes it interesting, but it makes it so the exploration is slow and painful no matter what screen you're on. Not to say that it isn't fun, it's just that, uh, okay. What am I looking at right now? I'm very concerned. Yeah, I don't know. I know what to do with that. <laughs> Got 11 diamonds. More heart containers are always good. More defense. Flex one hit. I'll just take more defense overall. I'll take a shovel. I guess we'll take the torch. Okay. Let's go ahead. Why do you have a chance to react to most enemies? Makes it a lot more of a interactive game than sometimes the Necromancer enemies can do. Oh, what the heck is this? I'm sad. <laughs> oh, at least we got the diamonds. That would have been really rough. All right, it keeps the place open, which is nice. Now we can try this talus again. I have enough bombs, I'd say, if it does die to bombs. That seems to be the solution. <laughs> nice. Monet. 
We haven't had any use for money yet. Looking for those shops, man. <laughs> I'm still confused. What is this question mark thing? Reverse movement. Okay. The B restarted the music. <laughs> okay. There's a shop, I guess. I guess we'll get rid of the enemies first in case this is somehow an encounter. I doubt it, though. Looks like the fortune teller. I also appreciate how they don't make you automatically attack cuckoos until you actually try to. That was a good touch. Good idea. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's see how this goes. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Broken down window. Oh, okay. Go this way, dummy. We want to go here. We are currently here. So I'm going to make. I guess we'll unlock this area and then make our way over. Might not be able to go through since this looks kind of isolated. Maybe at least this spot. Stamina potion. Health potion. Need bottle. Okay. Bottle it is. So let's try using our map. There we go. Okay, so I can't go left. Apparently I can go up. No, I can't go up. Okay, there's trees. It's much easier to explore after you've killed everybody. I guess there's weapon priority with that encounter. At least it would make sense. Like, if you don't have a spear, you don't get to block that. Having a spear is so good. <laughs> and we made a mistake. Okay, I guess I'll just not get that. She could. Oh, there's a little indicator on your map to indicate which direction the exclamation point was in. That's nice of them. Vimos! How do we beat it? Bombs? Nope, just kill it. Just kill it. I'm not sure what the difference between the blue one is and the normal one. Also, we apparently missed a chest with a gigantic drum in it. Or 
definitely forgiving with the beat. Didn't think I would move into that spot for some reason. Also, we're free. Gimme. How do we move this? I'm just confused. Oh, it was, it was, okay. It was up here, we moved it down. I see, okay. We'll drown if we go in that. I assume I cannot climb up a waterfall. Yes. So we will have to come back to the chests later to figure out what that does. Moblin area? What it looks like. for two jumps. I know what this is. What is this? Come on in. Okay. Whoa. What am I looking at here? Oh, there's a there's a thing here. Anything else I can do? Someone's sleeping. That's not what I would have guessed at all. I was like, yeah, it would be right next to that note. Jumping too fast. I've stopped on not going to the middle when I want to go into it. One too many. Nice. This probably starts the windmill. goes. Down thrust ability. You don't need to send to a button. Drop an enemy. You can hop onto another space or on top of another enemy. Oh, that's fun. And again, I have the high ground. Can we talk about this? Your dream jobs of making the windmill move. Seems good. All right, so we actually have an inventory to choose now. Hmm. It's actually use on both of these, huh? I feel like the crane is not something I've been using. Let's just give that.
Persists even after death. The lance, that is. Scared of the statues, man. One of them's gonna come to life. Like those other ones did. I see him up there. Safe instant bombs. Okay. Yeah, I can do friendly fire. What's the point of the left then? What's the point of this then? This spot. I don't know. Yeah, that looks interesting. Oh my god. Hit me diagonally from below, it looks like. Apparently we're safe from that one because of our drop that we got. At least now. Try using it just to see how it goes. So, what's this demon bomb thing? Many bosses you haven't beaten yet will now be revealed on the map screen. It's a lot of mini bosses. Yeesh. <laughs> Freaking everywhere. There's one in the area over here. I guess we'll want to, um... Equip the other spear? Yeah. I'm gonna need to go the long way around for... the area that just said that we need to go to. Uh, one over and one up. 
bombable spot right here? No? How's this work? No? Let's check the map again. Maybe I'm just overthinking and it just comes with progress. We're saying diagonal, obviously, because we have to go up there from the lower direction, but maybe we can find some way through this way. It's disorienting having to hit the spear when it's down. <laughs> okay. Saying it's this way. Still this. Still no way through it. We don't have our boots anymore either. They must have broken. Those are some good boots too. <laughs> Just laughing at the confusion of the Bow Goblin. Oh, we hit the spear on the side. That's interesting. Neat interaction. Looks like it actually unlocked. Seems good. How do we get there? <laughs> there must be something I'm missing. Can I warp in this screen? No. Okay. It's only when we die. Oh wait, what? Okay. Hold on. like it can hold. I'll just have to rapidly press left. Though it is more efficient to rapidly press left. Whatever. Some amount of left pressing is necessary. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Just walk around. <laughs> oh, there is some way up here. Yep. <laughs> that note is incredible. I love it. Oh my god, it splits after the fact too. That's ridiculous. Could be quite the journey to get around the other side without some special equipment. <laughs> Here quickly with that loot, you can keep it. Got the loot. It's the to and she's done you activate them. I'm gonna move the south first. Well, what did we get in there? We got the bow and arrow, and we got the drop down passive thing. Oh, I see. Now I understand. It's interesting. It's a bit convoluted. A 
Oh, we got there. It's fine. We missed a cave, it seems. There's a way back. Okay, I was like, how do you do this if there's no way back? Answer, there is a way back. <laughs> Freaking huge man. Alright, so we have a means to get across. I see it. I see a heart piece. Okay. So much on this map. <laughs> Oh, we have another dungeon to go into on this side? That's what I understand. It's a pretty big area. It's nowhere near big enough. I think I could jump some of it. We moved it. <laughs> Guessing that's it. Maybe. Bit of a jerk move, buddy. Death Mountain remix is definitely good. The music in this game is always good. Who are we getting? How do Okay, why? Just stuns them. Why is it misbeat? No. I'm just trying to understand how this works. No, I'm good. How does this work? Use it to pull yourself to certain objects or stun and knock back enemies. Did we not get that from the windmill? I don't remember. Whatever. Well, he wills his way, huh? He's like, I really want to go that way. You're not going to stop me. Kane? Like we made a terrible mistake going that way, but whatever. We're already too deep now. Ring shattered. Mistakes have been made. Yep, oh, dark knight. That's cool. Glass broadsword. Finally access to a dungeon. It's up top. I 
All right, the first dungeon. It's not time-based. What's up with that? You can just move? Cool. Well, there's only one way to go. There's a key. Stairs. We can only go one through stairs, so this way. Mix so many enemies. I feel like that's almost kind of cheesing it, but whatever. Oh, he got he got blown down. I was like, what? That defies everything I know about this enemy. <laughs> chest somehow. It's typically need blue keys from what I remember. What is going oh it's one of those. Can't kill those from what I remember. She so has like a set path. Oh, oh we automatically flip it. That's nice. I was gonna say that would be a very Unintuitive design to have to go into my inventory, find the thing I have to equip. Apparently, we have a shopkeep now, too. Serves durability. I guess we're supposed to blow it up. Guess who? It's the shopkeep. Still singing. The torch, might as well. Open pierces. I'll take their ability. Oh, there's the door. I didn't even see it. Very, very in-depth dungeon. You don't have a shovel, do No, we do have a shovel. It's just too worn for us to dig, or are we just being pansies and not digging? Maybe we're being pansies and not digging. Still don't know how to be- Oh, he's got a back. I see. Gotta go in the back. We figured it out. Got a key. I think that's our second key? No, what's our first key? Okay. We had a key on the overall before. This chest? This one. Stairs. We had another area we could go into. Sorry, up here. So we know we need to fight that guy from the back. Just press W. Go forward. As the turn, he can turn around. Yes. We're still yet to figure out if I can actually kill those things. 
answer seems to be no. Okay. Alright, there's still another area up there. I don't know if we get any benefit from killing everything, but I'm gonna try. To see what happens. A glass! What did we lose? The fact that I don't know probably means it wasn't all that important. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. We got our key to open the door. Open these stairs. Clearly this is progress. Choose one. Tower shield, great bow, boomerang. What do they do though? I'll take defenses, I guess. I might actually send our only X and excuse it. An upgrade in your old shield can block wind and stronger attacks when you hold it up. Where is it equipped though? Where's this? Maybe it's maybe it's link only? It said it was both. Not entirely sure. Anyway. So we move the wind. That's what that was. So now we can go this way. There's a warp panel. Freaking squeak. <laughs> Apparently that's a trap door. A lot of trap doors, geez. Oh, let me call out. Still scary. <laughs> Don't know what to expect from Electro Bat. It's the only Available to attack on certain turns, I wonder? Oh well. He's already dead. Kind of. You can still attack him, but there's a cause. Sometimes it's better to miss beat, honestly, than to take damage. Especially when our inventory is so good. Like, it, it really disincentivizes hitting beat, having the inventory be this consistently good. Zorgy boy over here. There we go. We know the key is the gold chest, which is probably the boss key. This dungeon's are very small. But I guess it's a very different kind of dungeon. <laughs> and a very different kind of game. L-shaped attack. Okay. We now have a play.
Ooh, chest. What is this do? Interesting. Can we open this? Apparently we want to go this way. To some degree. Based off of uh... Oh I see. There's a key slot here. Oh we already used the key. Is there another key? Got to dig around that one. I have some stuff that's almost broken. There's a key. So we have to actually buy it. That's incredible. Torch is gone. So I can ignore a wind now. It's kind of neat. I did not miss B. Thank you very much. So wind doesn't matter. Whoa, what the heck? He exploded. What's going on over here? It's freaking weird. <laughs> okay, so you can stand on them at least for a little bit. Good to know. Oh, I see. Certain number of steps. Nope. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We have to <laughs> really get this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That was it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Bam. Okay. We solved it. <laughs> what is that for? I wonder. I guess we have the boss key, that's why. <laughs> Thinking and overcomplicating this. So apparently there's... Oh, the boots. We can't do it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much, I guess. Alright, first boss. Let's go. Hello. Octavio. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Top of Hyrule. Final four magic instruments. First is Glockenspiel. New boss. Oh, God. That's quite the block. Glock. <laughs> okay. to take in. Okay. 
Okay. Figuring it out. Oh. Sometimes misbeats can really mess you up. Body moves. I'm dumb. Continue. Well, I wonder where we start from here. I guess we want a key. Auto dig. So how far back do we go? Oh, we just go back to this area. Okay. We have the boss though. Okay, so you, we just start from here. That's fine. <laughs> That's not too punishing. See, I was just doing it so we would know what would happen when we die. Obviously. All planned. <laughs> Honestly, didn't even realize we killed the hub. Double breath. The music is really good. <laughs> Get the head. Oh, he can actually kill the body. Okay. I figured you had to kill the head first. Heart piece. Lock and spiel. Sweet. So question, when does Link come in the picture? Did we just get the pick between Link or Zelda? That's the real question. Surprise. <laughs> Expected. I guess this is the way back. Gotta get back into this again. It's like the action never stops in this game. <laughs> I don't know what to think about it, honestly. Like, I kind of like the empty space in some Zelda's. I think it's kind of refreshing in some ways, to have just time to think. But, Necrodancer is not the kind of game where you have time to think. Also, we have a key now. I don't know what to do with it. Guess we should get our fortune told? So how does this loot work? That's cool. Um... So I can just like go here. Let me see her. A little bit harder. There's the one. Maybe it's just they they randomly generate one hard enemy because the multi-hit, multi-legged guy was definitely not there before. Oh, dude, that hurts. 
Okay. Tell me more. Strange man. Probably tingle. Alright, we can just walk there, I guess. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> my uh my TV monitor doesn't show the full the full range of the vision sometimes. So I was very confused for a second. <laughs> Looks like it's around a little bit more. Like we need to go here and then down. Yeah. Figured out what the deck is here still. Agro B. Ah, oh, there's still one left. Okay. Other than the B, I guess we have to kill the B too. to have it. All caves and shops will now be revealed on the map screen. There's a shop right here? Is that what that means? Ah, it's a cave. Oh, nope, it's a shop. Okay. Protected dash after kill. This is the the brave ring. Hurts enemies when attacked. Seems pretty nifty. You can just hear him from here. Oh, we still have this. Never gives your attack's electric effect. When you sell them. Yeah, boots. What well, boots? Increase your defense. Okay, cool. So there was a shop there. Oh. Got these controls sometimes. Uh. Okay. This is what I want. I need to go here. Okay. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm glad there's some knock on those guys. That could be very weird if they're right. The Poe is here, apparently. Oh. I see how they work. Backside only. Wolves apparently don't like being approached. So I should all treasure, my god. It's so extreme, <laughs> all the information you get. Why so much? The timer. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Seven. Yeah. That ain't happening. There's more? No, there's one more. I see it. This way. Lost Woods. Assume you can do this game in any order if you really wanted to. Oh, keep on using that torch by accident. Begins fire. Create explosive ball of fire will explode if it collides with anything and detonate it by pressing L. Okay. Where's a leak here? It's right there. Gonna do something about it? Apparently not. Where's the exclamation point? It was apparently here. Where is this mysterious man that needs my help? Oh no, it's the one left to it. Okay. Oh. It's one of these. Alright. Lost Woods. What do we do? What kind of clue would there be? I only see this. What is this? Do we go this way then? Where do we end up? We're not back. The expensive guy spawned on the top. Maybe we go top? Map also says top is good. Okay, it's different. Guess now we know we can't stun that one. What is this? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, what you got? Yes. 
A scrub can dream. We're gonna do like the song of healing or something like this? What? How do we even do this? Oh, I see. Find a way to the lost woods and may help with treasures. What do you got? Okay. side this time. Well, poison apparently. Green water poison. Okay. It's not working. Me to go up. I see. So the sound is louder whenever you're close to the destination you want. It's for now. Sykes left. That's cruel. The heck is that? Fortunate situation. Replacement torch, though. We need this. How does this work? Can't get in. be there when possible. Was it worth it? Probably not. 
Okay. Feed all enemies. Oh, okay. There you go. Rito's Feather. You jump in the air, potentially by any test, try it with thrust down. Ooh. I take stamina though. It's always forward, it seems. Or they can hit diagonally. friend. The monster. It's like that way. Top. Yep. Top. That is a line. Do damage is fine, I guess. Some weird stuff going on up top. What is this? Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> How do we get out? Can we only use the tree? I am confused. Oh, I see. There's a thing over here. I have to go in the poison to get it. Worth maybe? I don't know. poison damage at the moment. I think we just upgraded yeah we just upgraded our dagger, that's all. So there's the stairs. We have this. Can't get through that though without going down. So from that direction, I guess, this one up here. It's kinda weird. Some kind of staircase that leads to that. Loads. Good to know. As long as we have range, that should be it. That explodes too. Okay. this is a mix of the second area with uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer with the vines and stuff and the mushrooms. I hear some of the same themes. Five for poison. The shop down there. Yep, 
There's a ship. I wonder where the warp is. Our piece. Safe instant bombs. Are is basically dead anyway? Sure. Can we talk to him? We can. <laughs> Alright, buddy. May as well warp. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Zombie tree activate. Choose our upgrade. Well, long shot doesn't have any ammo, but boomerang is something we don't actually have. Let's take that. Try to stun him and always finds a way back to you. How does this work? It's neat. Does actually take it, okay. That's nice. That is not so nice. Skull tour, okay. So the second it comes in, tech, in contact with the drop, it also stops and takes it back to you. What are you doing over here, buddy? Stop this. Still scary. Still scary. Oh my god. I got a key. And toy key by. No reason to have that. No reason not to have that, that is. There's our mini boss area. Somehow. Some kind of mirror. What's bound to L, by the way? Right, the thing. Um, what the? I was thinking about using it. That's why I wanted to know where it was bound. Musky.
But I want... But I want down. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? I want down. Give me down. Do I need bombs? Maybe I need bombs. Something like that. It's a bee. A true encounter. <laughs> Alright. We'll end the stream with this boss. Assuming I can beat it. <laughs> I'm not going to leave until I do, I think. The Maracas. Oh. I know this one. <laughs> this one was on track. Go Maracas. Oh, well, long distance projectiles, but don't actually become a thing until they hatch. Feels easier than the last boss. He's got stages. Nope, he's, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Not hard enough. Not hard enough, son. Yoink. Mine. Everything in this room is mine. It's all mine. Oh, there's stairs. That's the stairs we came in on, I guess. Alright. There we go. They may help you, but they may not. Where am I? Oh, that's disorienting. <laughs> okay, so what's up with this? the area we escaped in. Okay, yeah. I was trying to think of what this was. Alright, well. That seems to be it. Looks like the enemies do continue to scale at least a little bit. Because we're seeing the high HP guy here now. He wasn't there before, I'm very sure of that. I'll clear this room and then stop. Bam. Torch extinguished. This run's freaking over, man. <laughs> 